Okay. I thought it's the end. Sure, whatever. Damn, we still have another way. <laughs> Use that slow. Oh no. I'm spinning. Oh my god. That was dirty. Oh. Have this. Damn it. Oh. 
Oh. Hello. I can see in your eyes that you are ready. As you know by now, there is no need to fear the Reaper Man. Sometimes the darkest path leads to the brightest middle, and your path was helping others on their journey. Right, that was kinda like what I figured out, but still the whole lore is not clear. And now your journey has reached its destination. Goodbye is not the end, it simply means we will miss you until we meet again. Carly? <laughs> hmm. I see. At the end of the day, I feel like this was just nothing like deep into the story or whatever. Maybe I was just overselling it. We basically were just rescuing poor souls that kind of got lost in its thought process or just like in their lives. Was it like the animals or people? And we were basically just saving them from, I guess, maybe death or whatever. Makes sense if we were like the Reaper Man or like maybe the Misery. Game's pretty cute. As a puzzle, I really enjoy it since it has a variety of mechanics that some are easy and some are hard and at the same time the difficulty vary for the player because some situations were much easier to figure out for me maybe it's just like my specific puzzle brain or whatever but I can imagine like there are so many solutions to just one puzzle it's basically you who decide how you want to progress and just complete the game so it seems like at the end of the day those points were just for the completion altogether which I don't really care for that much like I said before if the collectibles are not leading up to some some extra things like true ending or just something different then for me it's no point to collect them especially in VR since it's like not just rewarding enough honestly the only things that I can be nitpicky about is sometimes the blocks kind of visually are there but you like go through them there were just two cases that I saw it other than that pretty much flawless and like the 360 environments could be like more polished towards the ending of the game they were much cooler so I'll give them that I can definitely see this being very much enjoyable in multiplayer the difficulty especially varies between those modes because some puzzles were extremely hard for me to do like two controls at the same time but would be probably much easier with someone and I guess vice versa because of the communication that you're playing with someone and just like the cooperation just coordination everything call <laughs> I guess it's depending on your playstyle basically but I like this like it's very cute for what it is